And off the top tonight, more indictments connected to the embattled East Cleveland Police Department. And this time, it's two former officers accused of stealing from drivers during traffic stops. Today's charges bring the total number of past and current East Cleveland officers indicted to seven. And that's just in the last three weeks. And it has one city councilwoman calling for a federal investigation. Here's News 5 investigator Scott Nall. After these latest indictments to hit East Cleveland police, one city councilor summing up her feelings in just a few short words. Those words, we need outside help. East Cleveland police officers Alfonso Cole and Willie Sims, the latest indicted by a grand jury today. Their allegations we first told you about last summer. Cole and Sims accused of robbing victims during traffic stops while on duty. In all, the pair accused of stealing from six victims, taking nearly $15,000 cash, drugs, and two guns between 2020 and summer 2021. Cole and Sims first arrested on the allegations last year. East Cleveland police say the officers were issued termination letters this week. Their charges, just the latest to hit the department. Three weeks ago, East Cleveland Police Chief Scott Gardner indicted on theft, fraud, tampering, and tax charges. Then, a week later, officers Tyler Munson and Brian Stahl indefinitely suspended after being indicted for theft in office, tampering, dereliction of duty, and interfering with civil rights. Just last Friday, two former officers, Von Harris and DeMarco Johnson, charged with falsifying police reports and accepting bribes back in 2018. If you think it sounds like a lot, you're not alone. It's hard to keep track of all of the allegations. City Councilwoman Patricia Blahoviak says she's heard about problems with police since moving to East Cleveland. 21 years of hearing about problems, and now finally in 2022, we are getting indictments. But critics of the department believe this string of indictments is just the beginning. They want more accountability for what some call a culture of unconstitutional policing in the city. I think the time has come that everyone be held accountable. Blahoviak believes that means a full FBI investigation into East Cleveland. The councilwoman says it's the only way to get to the bottom of what's going on and help restore confidence in a department that's eroding indictment by indictment. The mayor knows the prosecutors, the mayor knows the police, the mayor knows he has those connections. And how can we expect him to be fair or unbiased? We need outside help. Let me put these seven indictments into some perspective. East Cleveland's entire police department is only about 45 officers. We try to get comment on all of this today from East Cleveland's mayor. So far, though, no response from City Hall. In East Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.